This is the Everything Weight Loss Podcast with Shari Ware, where we talk about everything, all things, anything to do with weight loss, health, and wellness. And today I have 10 healthy habits that are going to help you with your physical health, your mental health, and your emotional health. Uh, Who doesn't want a bit of that? Uh, So the first one, number one, is harmonious nutrition. Uh, Now, I used to say balanced nutrition, uh, and then I heard Jim Quick, who is amazing. He is a brain specialist, uh, and he was saying that Balance implies the same amount of the different things that you're trying to balance. Uh, However, harmony uh, can be different amounts of things all working in harmony to get the right uh, fit for you. Uh, So harmonious nutrition uh, is really, really important and that's number one. So number two, adequate hydration, water, 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 water. Um, It is what helps our body move everything through it to uh, get all of the nutrients to where they need to go to in our body, um, to the organs. It does a lot of things and it's really important that we make sure that we're drinking enough water. Uh, And uh, as a... As a quick equation, uh, at least one litre of water for every 22 kilos of body weight is a good good place to start. Uh, But if you're not drinking much, get at least two litres a day. Uh, Number three is movement. Now, I say movement, not exercise. Uh, And the reason for that is that um, a lot of us have a picture in our head of what exercise means. It's really just about moving our body. Our body does not have a pump and the way that that water gets pumped through and all of the nutrients get pumped through our body uh, is uh, by moving our body. Um, And there's a place in our lives for all different kinds of movement. And the three that I like to uh, include are gentle movement, so just some gentle walking or some uh, gentle swimming or yoga or stretching. Uh, The second kind is some kind of um, cardio that gets your heart pumping and there's also a place in our life for resistance training, uh, some kind of weight training, even if it's just body weight um, or resistance training. And there's a place in our life for all three of those different forms of movement. They're all important. Uh, Number four is sunlight. Uh, vitamin D, that's where we get our vitamin D from. Vitamin D helps our uh, helps us with a lot of things. It's actually uh, integral to us being happy, healthy humans. So definitely getting at least five minutes of sunlight, preferably morning sun if you can, a day is very good for our health. Number five is self-love and self-care uh, that uh, creating a self-love habit self-care habit uh, is definitely one of those things that is is going to help us not only have um, emotional and mental uh, well-being and health uh, but also physically uh, everything is connected number six is gratitude What we focus on is what we get. So uh, definitely with our mental health, um, when we focus on what we have in our lives that we are grateful for, for all those wonderful blessings that we have, uh, that definitely helps us so much uh, with our, our health and wellbeing. So a gratitude practice. Number seven is visualization. Uh, Once again, what we, what we focus on is what we get. And the reason for that is because that is what we are looking for. When we, whatever we focus on, we're, that's what we're going to see more of because that's what we are looking for, both consciously and unconsciously. Uh, so, by uh, doing some visualization, including that as a daily practice, uh, we're going to help ourselves get uh, to that place that we're trying to visualise, whatever that is for us, a lot quicker and easier and it's certainly going to be helping um, our health and wellbeing. 
Number eight is reading. Uh, we don't know what we don't know. I, we learn so much from uh, further educating ourselves. Uh, there's so many things that, um, that can help us in our lives, uh, physically, mentally, and emotionally. Um, and it's just not possible to know all of those things at once. So reading is something that is going to help you continue to improve your health and well-being in all aspects. Number nine is meditation. Uh, it doesn't have to look like sitting on the floor, cross-legged, going, oh, um, it doesn't have to be for half an hour a day. Uh, it can literally be one or two minutes and even just even doing one or two minutes a day is going to give you benefit. Uh, I have a practice now where I meditate for five minutes every day. Some people might think, oh, that's not much. Um, however, it's better than nothing. Uh, and meditation helps our, our all of our um, health and well-being, physical, mental and emotional, uh, in lots of different ways. Uh, I could go into lots more detail on all of these things, but <laughs> we, would, we would literally be here for hours. So I'm just giving you the quick overview today. And number 10 is your mindset, actively working on your mindset. Uh, whenever we try to make changes in our lives, we... It needs to come from uh, the mindset part of things. It needs to begin there because when you have the mindset in place that you need to make the changes, you're able to make the changes long term as opposed to short term if the mindset is not there. So actively working on your mindset is definitely going to help you to implement all of the changes that you want to make in your life and the the awesome thing is that a lot of the things that I've gone through um, as in the uh, self-love the gratitude the visualization the reading the meditation that is all uh, that is all actively working on your mindset uh, and I'm going to add in number 11 today uh, you get an, an extra bonus number 11 is actually connection it is a human Need it is a human necessity to have connection. Um, I don't know if you can hear it in the background. There's a little bit of a uh, a jingling, and that's actually my daughter's little dog that is jingling in the background whenever she um, scratches or shakes. And the the reason why I'm bringing that up is because that is a form of connection. Pets are a form of connection. Um, she's she's not my dog, but <laughs> I can tell you I've fallen in love with her as well um, and it definitely helps with the connection part. And connecting with family and friends, uh, just uh, the connection in some way is really important. So that's bonus number 11. Now, if these are things that, you know that you've been wanting to implement in your life first of all I'd love to know in the comments uh, of those 11 things what are things that you are already doing and how do you do it because um, people do things in different ways and I really love to see how people do these things how they fit into their own lives uh, if there are some things in there in that uh, list of 11 that you maybe want to implement into your life and you haven't uh, been able to do that successfully yet, uh, then say yes in the comments because I am doing what I call a 13-day mindset reset. Uh, it's free. I'm doing it myself and um, I'm inviting people to do it with me and it actually includes every single one of those 11 uh, healthy habits uh, and and it's in a, a, a quick easy way uh, that you can do it every day uh, on a daily basis to create the habit and and as we know the creation of the habit is usually the hardest part once once we create the habit and it becomes automatic uh, then we don't have to worry about it again it's just like brushing our teeth our teeth it's now an automatic habit we don't have to think about it we just do it naturally so if that is something that you would like uh, some help with and you would like to join me on my 13 day mindset reset when I do the next one uh, then say yes in the comments and I will shoot you some information I haven't actually set anything up yet um, there's no links but I will set one up and I'll be able to 
uh, send you a link if you are interested. Uh, definitely tell me where you're from, uh, anything that resonated with you. I'd love to uh, hear your comments and I will see you all on the next video. Bye. Thank you so much for joining me on this episode. Remember to check out the show notes and if you have any comments, feedback or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. If you've received value from this podcast, make sure to subscribe and I'd love you to rate and review the show. Have a fabulous day.